Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith and this is your place for professional video production techniques. The subject of this reveal is Final Cut Pro Effects Behavior in Adobe Premiere Pro. All right, so this one is completely hidden and I really didn't even think about this being primarily an Adobe guy, but Final Cut users are used to being able to see keyframes before a clip actually begins. And there's a little switch that you turn on and uh, once you do, you have that capability. Now, this, the default is to have it turned off because it's easier for most people to understand that they're affecting just one object beginning and end, the in and out points. But if you want it the other way, you can make this behave like Final Cut Pro. Let's have a look. So I purposely put uh, three clips together here with an overlap on this clip. And let's say that for whatever reason, and I've had this request before where someone would say they want the opacity to actually start before this clip goes to there. Now, you could simply come in here and turn on video keyframes and right click in here and turn on opacity and then do that in here. And now you're before th this uh, part in here, but a lot of people want to actually see it in here. And they want to do it before this clip actually happens over here. And in fact, if you do the rubber bands, you can't rubber band before it gets to here. So how do we do that? Well, in the little flyout menu, in the effects control, so if it might be behind your source controls and I'm on the editing workspace. In this little flyout menu, once we select a clip, in the little flyout menu, look at this. Pin to clip is on by default and stays on if it's on for all your projects. When I turn that off, the only thing you'll notice is down here in the bottom of the effects control in the timeline section. So if you don't see this, you might have to click on this and pop it out. And once you see that, this is the zoom control. This tells you that you're zoomed into the head and tail of this. If you double click on it, it's actually gonna open this up and we're zooming around in this area. Bottom line is, there's the clip, there's the in and out points of the clip and you can now set a keyframe way before there. So if I twirl down my opacity and change that to zero and add a keyframe, make sure I have a keyframe, and then go up to that point here and turn it up, I'm now going from zero to 100% of that before it actually occurs. So that's kind of odd. I can do it to there. And now it fades in. You see it's already fading in right there. And you can see if we zoom in, you can see that this is starting to go down. And that's because this keyframe, you can see it's going to change that value right there. It's, if it comes in close enough, then you'll see it. There it is. That's the tip of that right there. But when you pull it out all the way over there, you can't see it here on the timeline, but you can see it all the way up in here. If you go back and turn this off, you'll put the keyframe out of view, but you won't delete the keyframe. We still have the transparency, as you can see right here, um, but it's temporarily hidden. So click that back on, either move all the way to that area or double click and zoom out and have that. There you go. If you want that same kind of behavior to not be pinned to the edge of the clip, turn that off and that's what you have. The exact same behavior as Final Cut Pro in Adobe Premiere Pro. Well, hopefully you found this informative. If you have, then please click on the subscribe button to video reveal. If you're not already an Adobe Creative Cloud user, then get on over to adobe.com and there's a special link in the description for you to get your free 30-day trial. Until next time, I'm Colin Smith, unpinned effects and all, here to make you look good.